Yes. Yeah, yes, buddy. my man. Yeah. Oh, God damn. Ah, it is time once again. I, I got to tell you, I'm very excited to do this one today, I, man. I, this is one of my favorite shows that we do, and we haven't got to do it I, in a while. I, I, you it's know? been a while. It's been, what, a good month? Uh, you, man, you put the bout. Bout. Give or take since we got to do this one. Mm-hmm. My God, dude. Good evening to you out there, everybody. Thank you so much for being with us on your Wednesday evening for another episode of Artificial Dinner Theater. Yay. God damn it. I'm looking forward to it, man. Indeed. This is going to be a good one, man. It is. It is. We can just stall till the guest gets here. <laughs> it's totally fine, man. Because we have a fantastic guest. We'll we tell do. you about that in a minute. I mean, we'll talk more about that, you <laughs> we'll, know, we'll get, we'll get to news we'll as get it happens. Yeah. yeah, you got it, man. Uh, guys, if you haven't seen Artificial Dinner Theater before, it's very simple. What we're going to do here is type prompts over here to chat GPT and get it to write a movie for us and do the table read of that movie in real time. I know it sounds a little weird, but I got to tell you, it ends up being pretty hilarious it's, it's, over time. It's quite man. the funny, for sure. Yeah, uh, I, I'm a big fan, and because uh, we get to we get to do all kinds of funny jokes and voices. It, and, it's it's the voices for me a lot of, of times, course. man. Oh yeah, you That's gotta fucking love it. That's what it's all about, man. And then when we're done, we get to just throw the screenplay away because AI sucks. Yeah, and it works out great. It's basically. terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Yeah, none of them have been good. I wouldn't call them good. <laughs> none of them are. I mean, yes, are they better than some of the things that come out in Hollywood? Yes. That's true. But again, that does That's not mean true. good. I, you know, well, we finally figured out a way around pirating. Just make everything so terrible nobody wants to fucking download this shit, and, <laughs> and you're done, yep. man. They lose less money this way. It's weird. Because <laughs> people go see it in the theater, and they it's get true. the money from that, and then they're like, we're not we're not pirating this, so <laughs> they don't lose money. Why? Why give free end. copies of it? Nobody wants them. There's Nobody no demand. This. There's yeah. no demand. Oh, wait just a damn minute, wait guys. Wait just a damn minute. <laughs> wait, hold on a dad gum minute. A dad gum minute. Hopefully, he can get his camera going as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? I thought I heard, I heard him. him. I heard him. Did you hear me? All right. Now it's one of these things. Wait a minute. I know he's got a stand-up stage even in there somewhere. There I've is, there's it. all kind of uh, different gimmicks and things in there. Hold I'm, on, please. let me see. <laughs> let me get this whole deal <laughs> set up. I see his very Saved by the Bell background going that on in the background right now. Oh, you like that? I love you like that, do you? Oh, yes, whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Guys, please give it up for our very special guest this evening, Sokka. How's it going, yes, the video. Hell Happy yes, video. man. Doc Hop, we are glad to have you back on this show, my friend. Thank oh, yes. you so much for doing this with us I today. I feel so much safer now that the law is here. You well, know? Oh, good. I'm glad. You don't I'm want any speeders in here. That's you know right. what I mean? We, we, got here no at a, we got here at a reasonable speed. I don't think that anybody we else... Did. We arrived at a, at, at a reasonable speed. I think we're going to be fine, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, I know. I certainly did. Indeed. Guys, if this is your first time watching this show, my name's Justin. I'm going to be typing our prompts and reading our stage direction today. I'm joined, as always, by Adam Mitchell, who will be uh, the bulk of our voice cast this evening. And, of course, the star of tonight's movie will be our boy, Sock Cop. Hell yeah. Hey! Man. How's it going? Yes, it is. That's right. Oh, you gotta love it. And boy, do we have a premise cooked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so what we want to do today, if you saw the last time Sock Cop was on this show, we did, a, we did an action drama, an action police drama mm -hmm. with Jim the Sock Rider. Yes, Jim Sock Rider, that's right. Beautiful. Where he took very on subtle. the very dangerous glove. A uh, a ruthless terrorist organization bent on world destruction. That's right. You know? Good god damn, man. And it was all very uh, wardrobe related. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Now, last time we did this, we had it right, you know, I guess a regular action movie about it. And then we made it up to be about socks and shit because <laughs> the AI couldn't quite grasp the idea of... Yeah, it's like this, but make them socks. Like a lethal right. weapon with socks. Do it like that. It didn't know what the hell <laughs> like I was talking weapon, about. Lethal weapon, but we want them to be socks. That's right. AI's a little smarter now. Uh, not only will it draw pictures of Sock Cop as we're doing it tonight, yeah. which should be pretty fucking awesome, 
But in addition to that, I, I'm hoping it, it's gotten smarter. We think it'll understand a little better. We did some tests, and I think we can tell it to do anthropomorphic socks. We want anthropomorphic socks. Yes, dude. So we, we are going to try it today. We haven't done this show in a while. This is a, a new update to the new update on this. We're going to see how the fuck it goes, man. Thank you guys very much for being here with us on Artificial Dinner Theater tonight. Tell your friends. Oh, yeah. Get them in, because it's about to get funny. All right. Now, sock. <laughs> If I remember right last time, do you still want to be Detective Jim Ryder? Because essentially what we're thinking today is RoboSock. We're going to kill you off right at the beginning mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then resurrect you as a robot sock, sock. cop. <laughs> who has half robot, you know, half sock, off. half cop. That's right. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, let's do a old, uh, let's do a trilogy. A whole fucking trilogy. And the Hell third yes. one, you could have a jetpack, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man, I love that. So we need to we need to start with our character, right? This mm-hmm. is how we've done. Or wait, did we do title first before? Uh, I don't remember. It's I've, been so long. Yeah, I think we used <laughs> it's to do been the too title. long since we did this show. Okay, let's try it. Uh, give me a list of ten titles mm-hmm. for movies <laughs> about um, anthro. Uh, hold on, <laughs> anthropomorphic <laughs> socks. That's a tough word. That's Nicely a five dollar word, right Thank there. you. Yeah. About a city of anthropomorphic socks, and a and a sock cop <laughs> 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 named uh, Jim Jim Sock Jim the Sock Writer. <laughs> Jim the Sock. Ooh, yeah, Jim the Sock. Who so- gets uh, killed? The says. And then resurrected as a part machine, part sock. <laughs> <laughs> do you smell what the sock is cooking? <laughs> part machine, oh, I do. part sock, <laughs> all cop, uh, uh, hero of the day, right? Okay, there's Later somewhere in the there. The sock down. Yeah, give me a list of ten. Let's see, ten names here. Let's see what it's got here. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Sucks. I'm trying to join your... Threaded uh, justice? Game. Whoa! That's not bad, man. Ooh. Okay, let's see. I, I'm surprised RoboSock is not on there. Uh, yeah, we've got RoboSock in the back pocket if we <laughs> want to use. Stitch and Steel. <laughs> uh, Stitch and Steel. Oh, man. That's not bad. That's I like not bad. I, do, I don't know. Justice. It's hard to beat RoboSock, though. It really is. Well, what if these? Are the, what if it's RoboSock 1, Threat of Justice? justice. And yes. Then RoboSock yeah. 2, Stitches and Steel. Yes. And RoboSock 3, you know, wh- whatever. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We got to do a cinematic universe here. For the sure. weave of destiny. This <laughs> is the weave uh, of destiny. Loom of legends. Let's create our hero. Uh, Remember this character, right? Uh huh. Uh, easy and squeezy. Oh, sock. Do you have my parsec, bro? I'm trying to connect to it. Oh, I thought you were on the. I'm gonna hold on. I got to disconnect all from the, backing real quick. Send it them. again. Send it again, my bad. Oh, there we go, I got you. You Technical should have it now, my friend. Hey, there we go. Hey, hey. There we go. Amara is subscribing to tier one for 30 with an all hell blue well. Thank you very Thank you, much, Amara. Amara. Appreciate that. And uh, Duel, if you would, remind me to just put uh, Sock on the auto approve list uh-huh, uh-huh. so that he don't have to worry about that next time. Oh, fancy. Oh, super fans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, remember this character, Detective uh, Jim, the sock writer, uh-huh, uh-huh. is a uh, is. A, we call upon you, brothers of Cleveland. Uh, is an anthropomorphic sock in, in a city of just dirty socks, <laughs> <laughs> like a laundry basket. It's Basket City. And I said, uh, give it a name. The Big Hamper. (laughs) Uh, He has been a cop for years and is very loyal to the job. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No wife, no kids. No baby socks. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) No little booties. Okay, let's be specific. Okay, he is a white tube sock <laughs> with sunglasses. Mm-hmm. A 
mustache. And a moustache. A bitch and stash. A bitch and stash. Can we put bitch and stash? <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> And Pretty sure that's a legal term. That, I mean, I feel like that's what the cops would call it. Right? You know? It's a bitchin' stash. Uh, <laughs> write a full character sheet for him and include an image in the style we discussed earlier. We discussed We discussed this. We discussed this. this, GPT. Come on, GPT. We discussed this. Okay, and let we me it. copy it just in case we get another TOS violation on this show. And let's try entered. it out. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. It's cre- it creates the image first. Oh, it's drawing first. first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sock, how you been, my man? You having a good New Year pulling over speed? It's- oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing spectacular. Thank you so much for asking. I've been... Uh, Pulling over all these speeders. It's been very cold lately. Uh-huh. So people oh, drive faster sure. to make their cars get hotter. Uh, so it's been very good to pull over speeders. Nice. Very nice. So it's uh, 17th of the month. You already met your quota, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Us- usually by about halfway through the month, I'm about halfway through next month's quota. That's the way it usually works. Excellent. He's doing 16 Excellent. months a year out there on the road, He is man. the best oh, cop yeah. who He's- is a sock on the planet. <laughs> and also the best sock who is a cop. <laughs> oh, look at that picture! Oh my God! <laughs> well, it's like my it's like my high school yearbook all over again. I didn't specify <laughs> that he was a sock puppet, <laughs> so it just made him a sock. He's not. It doesn't. It talks out of the wrong end. Okay. Look at that's all right. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the top part is uh, is very breathable, you know what I mean, just in case. All right, Sock, you want to read a little bit of this to us, if you would, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Name is Detective Jim the Sock Rider, age 40, in Sock years. In Sock years, okay. Species, anthropomorphic Sock. Occu- occupation is Detective Sock Cop. Detective That's pretty sock good. Cop, of course. Mm-hmm. The city is Lintropolis. Lintropolis. Yes. I like that. That's pretty good. good. Type is a white tube sock. That, yeah, that's me. Distinctive <laughs> features, sunglasses, and a prominent mustache. Yep, yes, as we can see by the image uh-huh, here, uh-huh. clearly. Yep. Uh, classic detective attire uh, with, it says with a badge, but that's a big fat lie, because neither one of us have a badge. That's no true. badge. Uh, well, uh, kind of on the top of your hat there. There's well, like, there, yeah, there's a badge. There's a there's little a badge, badge. there, more, yeah. It's like an emblem. I'm well, loyal, I dedicated to his job. It says that he is an expert in hand-to-sock combat. <laughs> That's a fact. That is a fact. Uh, I can hit you right in the hand with he, my sock, no problem. And you'll be like, oh, my hand. <laughs> okay, Trying let's clean up the streets. Anthropomorphic, morphic <laughs> sock puppet. He says, "Get that shoe jitsu out of here." Let's try that again, <laughs> dude. But the oh, the man. character sheet is great. We're off to an excellent start here. Yeah, if it you ask knows me. Oh, anthropomorphic like that, yeah. sock already. That's so far, an improvement. It's a big improvement. Mm-hmm. Hand to sock combat, man. You in got Lentropolis. it. In deep in, deep in, in the center of oh. Lentropolis. Oh, shit. Look at this fucking guy. It's still Whoa. put it on the top it's side still, of the sock. It did it the other way. <laughs> you know what a sock puppet is, don't you, GPT? Because <laughs> <laughs> um, so far, they don't. In the city. Well, that guy's How got no mouth, so the dialogue should be easy. It talks out of the 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 toe of the <laughs> out of the out of the toppy part. <laughs> he talks out of oh, the toppy everybody. part. I'm talking out of my chimney. Half sock, half cop, half robot. He talks <laughs> out of the toppy part in the, the city of part. Lintropolis. Sock <laughs> cop is Robo sock. Oh, threads of justice. What was it? Is it threads of justice? Threads of justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or threaded justice or something. At the toe end of the sock, <laughs> the not end. the top end. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna get this. Who knows? I hope it will. I think it will. All I know is those glasses are not dark enough. Right? He looks more like an out of work porn director in that <laughs> one than he does like a cop. You know? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Jackie Ripper in the chat is probably correct. They're out here. Hey, there. Now nah, we're getting closer. Closer. We're getting closer. Hey. But still, they want. <laughs> still right side up. Good with human teeth. Though. Make them like upside the, like the down. Human teeth. Okay, you know what? I'm going with it. <laughs> remember this character, and remember what he looks like. 
And look at all the angry him. blobs on the street looking at him. <laughs> the same way anytime he comes up. Also, uh -huh. assume that. Can you get that, Phil? You tell him Steve Day for one heard a bit says, Welcome back, Sock Cop. Sown to be oh, wild. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Moches Fields, my friend. Thank you so much. I smoches. I like the smoches for you. Very nice. Okay. So remember that and assume that everybody is socks. <laughs> okay. Consistently represented in this style. Additionally, I'll remember that Lentropolis is a city inhabited by anthropomorphic socks and other limb apparel. I love it. Oh! Okay. I think we're ready to fucking rock and roll, man. I think it's on the right page. Yeah, on the same dude. page here. All right. So let's start with our basic prompt, right? Please write dialogue for the first 10 minutes of Act 1 of the final draft of an extended screenplay in final draft style of a fictional original movie called... Shit, what, what was it? Robosock. Robo -sock. Robo -sock. Thread, uh, uh, threaded justice. Threaded justice. Yeah. That's what it was. Threaded justice. Um, a movie about Detective Jim Ryder mm -hmm. being uh, uh, taken out. Let's be soft early on with the language with it. Just in taken case, out yeah. in the line of duty and rebuilt into a uh, half <laughs> mechanical, half robot, half cop, half sock. <laughs> We made this very clear yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we half robot, half sock, <laughs> all cop, <laughs> justice machine. Yes. In the first Ooh. few scenes, uh, Ryder and his partner <laughs> give him a name. Mm. He's also a sock. <laughs> <laughs> Go on a call involving... Um, uh, 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 involving a violent robbery. Uh, a violent. A violent <laughs> robbery um, uh, uh, by the most notorious mm -hmm. sock criminals <laughs> in Lantropolis. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Are we good? Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. good? Oh, yeah. All right, guys, please enjoy RoboSock, Threat and Justice. All right, here we go. It is not remembering to include it. <laughs> it says RoboSock, Threat and Justice. I know, but it didn't draw it. Oh, right. I was right. hoping it would draw a title screen, man. Right. God damn. That's Them okay. Sons of bitches. That's okay. We're starting it up, man. All right, here we go. RoboSock, Threat and Justice, Act 1, Seen it. Interior of the Lentropolis Police Department, morning. Detective Jim the Sock Rider, a tough-looking sock puppet in blue police uniform, and his partner, Detective Lou the Loafer Spencer. Hello. A casual laid-back sock with a sporty <laughs> stripe are at their desks. Lou is sipping a cup of coffee while Jim is reviewing a case file. Uh, I'm reviewing my case file. <laughs> <laughs> Another day in the lint trap, eh, Lou? <laughs> hey, you know it, Jim. Just waiting for the next big snag, God, you know? It's going to be sock puns <laughs> all day. <man. sighs> the police radio crackles to life, breaking the casual banter. Oh, attention all units, we have a 211 in progress at the Spool Street Bank. Suspects are considered armed and dangerous. Jim instantly stands up on what? You didn't draw him with feet. His expression <laughs> turning serious. That's our cue, Lou. Let's roll. Lou nods, finishing his coffee in one big gulp. gulp. Exterior of the Spool Street Bank. Moments later, Jim and Lou arrive at the scene. The bank is surrounded by police cars, lights flashing. A crowd of sock citizens <laughs> is gathered behind the police tape, murmuring anxiously. <laughs> Stay sharp. These guys are the real deal. They approach Captain Heel, <laughs> a seasoned authoritative sock. Jim! Lou! Glad you're here. The Knit Gang's inside. They take it hostages. <laughs> We're going in, Captain. What Wait, isn't that back? a racial slur? <laughs> what, the Knit Gang? <laughs> well, I mean, isn't that like Asian people in the 40s or something, <laughs> man? All right, it's fine. I'm sure we're fine. Else, yeah. 
let's let's take it from we're going in. <laughs> we're going in, Captain. We'll bring him out. Captain Heel nods, and Jim and Lou head toward the bank entrance. Inside the bank, the bank is chaotic. The Knit Gang, a notorious group of sock criminals, is scattered around, keeping an eye on the frightened hostages. I looked ahead. I shouldn't have looked ahead. As Jim and Lou stealthily move in, one of the gang members, Scarface, <laughs> a rugged sock with a scar, spots them. Oi, corpse, we go company. I should do Pacino. <laughs> Up, hurry, hurry. Hoi, cops! We got company! (laughs) 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 (laughs)
It ain't quitting says our image is new on chat GPT. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, on yeah, the Yeah, uh, we're cooking with fucking gas now, man. The upgrade, oh, no. yeah. It's, it's the real. using uh the real it deal. uses Dolly, if I'm not mistaken. Not Midger. I believe you are Dolly. correct. Uh okay. And on and on. <laughs> and Ariston. It's like the most beautiful Game Boy music I've ever heard. <laughs> it's I, yeah, it is really good. I would buy a CD of this sound. Right? Mm-hmm. I love it. Okay, I think we're set here. Let's write dialogue for the next sequence of scenes. Next, we see a series of scenes from Ryder's POV where he occasionally wakes up to see himself in various stages of surgery and technical enhancement. At the end of the sequence, Ryder wakes up and has a conversation with a doctor about what's been done to him in detail. He's become RoboSock. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Time to sock it the fuck up, man. Sock it to me. God damn. I, it didn't remember. I got to remind it to do an image on every prompt. Yeah. Or maybe I can just tell it at the end of each one okay. while we're talking about it. I don't know. I don't we're know. doing new weird Whatever things with new weird here. things. There ain't no fucking blueprint for this shit, you know? All right, here we go. All right. Interior of a high-tech medical lab, unknown time. The scene is shown from Ryder's POV. His vision is blurry and disorienting. Disoriented. Uh, beeping of medical equipment and muffled voices are heard. Shadowy figures move around working on him. Ryder's POV blinks in and out of consciousness, each time revealing more of the transformation process. Cybernetic limbs being attached, wires being connected, and high-tech gadgetry being integrated into his sock fabric. God damn. In interior of the high-tech medical lab later, Ryder, Ryder's vision stabilizes. He's fully conscious, now looking around the room. He sees his new cybernetic limbs and body enhancements. Dr. Stitch, a brilliant but quirky sock scientist, played by Gary <laughs> Oldman, if you would, uh -huh, okay. enters the room. Ryder looks at him, confused and alarmed. Ah, you're awake. Welcome back, Detective Ryder, or should I say, Robo Sock. What? What happened to, to me? You were critically injured, Detective. We had to rebuild you. You're now a state-of-the-art cyborg enforcer. The first of your kind. Cyborg? Yes! <laughs> half robot, half sock. You have enhanced strength and advanced technical, tactical analysis capabilities and various built-in weaponry. Built-in weaponry? <laughs> mm, indeed. <laughs> fingers, well, the toe area, now contain retractable stun prods. Your fabric is bulletproof and self-repairing, and your nice. eyes, they have thermal and night vision. Fuck yeah, man. Uh, this, uh, this is a lot to take in. You're a pioneering figure in law enforcement, Ryder. You'll be the hero Lentropolis needs. A hero or a monster? <laughs> Dr. Stitch looks at Ryder sympathetically. A hero, Ryder. Always a hero. Oh, then let's get to work. All right. Hell yes, <laughs> dude. God damn. Yes. Oh, I, I mean, this is nailing it today. I love it. Oh, yeah. You're not a Bad monster, thousand. Robo Sock. The doctor is on your side, That's man. That's right. A hero. You're the hero Lentropolis needs. <laughs> we right. need a heroes. <laughs> okay. Let's, oh, see what, let's heroes. see what it thinks. Oh, shit. Hey, Robo oh. Sock. <laughs> Robox Sodder. <laughs> it's me, Robox Sodder. <laughs> Definitive. S. Ort. <laughs> Cyberk Enforcer. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Uh, oh, Robo Sock. Remember this drawing. <laughs> Always draw Robo Sock exactly <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh man. That is great. Robo Solder is awesome. He's a Cyberk Enforcer. <laughs> Robox Sada. He's, he's the definitive art. 
Oh Cyber Enforcer! Dude, that's a fucking profile picture of the week right there, man. Oh, that's good stuff Hell right there. Yes. That's the shit. What else has he got down here? His Chris? stin toy. <laughs> oh, they, yeah, that's my... Stop looking at my stin toy! <laughs> He's got Imparserb Ioc, man! How are we ever gonna... How's, how's anybody ever gonna beat him, you know? Sakatubi! Sakatubi's <laughs> talk to knock! <laughs> I never agreed to that! Oh my god. Oh, Sakatubi. <laughs> it sounds like shit that Pootie Tang says. <laughs> Sarate? Sepatow. What did the what he was saying? Oh we always god. knew what he meant. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh, that, I gotta tell ya. Imparser by Ioc, bro. I gotta tell you, I couldn't have planned a better Robo Sock. <laughs> He's thrim proof. He's thrim proof. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the stin point. <laughs> oh my god. What else he got on there? <laughs> I can't, it's too small. Oh, let's see. I gotta see more of this. Bullet, bullet, pranoof, <laughs> nightmanver. <laughs> oh man, that ain't cheap. A bullet, pranoof, nightmanver. No, especially when you're stuff proof, proof too. Cheap. You're stuff proof, proof too. You're stuff proof. You're thrim proof, and you've got bulletproof nightmanver. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> Unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, there's. I mean, we got a pretty, uh, a pretty op hero here, well, I think. Well, then we're gonna have to come up with some fucking bad guys. Let's do the next, guys. Alright. Here we go. You better include an image, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Interior of the Lentropolis Jail Day. The Knit Gang, led by Wooly to Weave Walters, are mm -hmm. being released from their cells. A corrupt officer smirks as he unlocks the cells. Enjoy your freedom, boys. But don't forget who you owe. Don't worry, we always take care of our friends. Was that Wooly Walters? Yeah, that was Wooly Walters, wasn't was it? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. The gang members collect their belongings and exit the jail, laughing and joking among themselves. <laughs> Meanwhile, interior of the Lentropolis Police Department, same day, the atmosphere in the precinct is tense. Officers whisper among themselves, Detective <clears throat> Lou the Loafer Spencer is talking to Captain Hill. Can you believe this, Captain? The Lint Gang's out already. I know, Lou. There's talk they've got protection from high up. We're treading on Din Yon here. It's not right. They nearly killed Jim, and now they just walk. Well, get him, Lou. We just need to find the right thread to pull. <laughs> <laughs> Lou looks determined but worried. Exterior on the Lentropolis streets that day, the Knit Gang walks free. Heading into the gritty streets of Lentropolis, they exude confidence and menace. People on the street give them a wide berth for old thin bones. Scarface to Wooly Walters. Oh, boss. You think the cops all come after us again? That's how whispers. Huh? You know? Oh, oh, you think the cops will come after us again? <laughs> Let them come. We're untouchable now. And with Freud out of the picture, who's gonna stop us? The gang disappears into the shadows of the city. Outstanding. Oh man, to the shadows. Oh man, that's good the, TV right there. The Knit Gang, they disappear into the shadows, ready to destroy the city, one clothing oh, you know what? at a time. It says it's gonna include, I'm gonna try to let it get its shit in line before I interrupt it again. Okay, all right. You know Mm. It says I'll include an image with the next prompt. Right. Okay. Why not with that one, though? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, for the next few scenes of Act 1, this is where... This is... We're getting close to the... Uh, not the end of Act 1, but we're at, at the 15, I guess. Sure, the he need, If this was actual RoboCop, this is where he talks to the chief... And they're like, hey, he needs a car. And he goes, thank you. Thank you. And he takes yeah. the fucking shit out. And then he goes and sees a meal at the fucking, at the gas station. We killed you, man. Yeah, 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 yeah right? Mm -hmm. I think that's next. 
Okay, so he now RoboSock needs to leave the precinct and go immediately solve a crime. Exactly. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we can get in the dun 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 dun. <laughs> Next, RoboSock is being all awesome and shit. Mm-hmm. That's pretty normal. <laughs> I'll put stuff at the precinct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They give him a patrol car and he goes out. <laughs> on the streets. On patrol. Yeah, okay. He goes out on patrol <laughs> of uh, Lentropolis. Lentropolis, yeah. Uh, ready to stop crimes. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, and let, let's see if it can come up with it. Okay. Um, He's got to stop right a speeder. Full scenes of him stopping three separate small crimes yeah. be specific yeah right let's, let's see if it'll do it let's see what it comes up with man because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before we get out on act one we have to reveal more of like that the company that built him is connected to the criminals right if this was regular RoboCop. I hope he says shit like threat or alive you're coming with me <laughs> <laughs> remember to include an image with every prompt Including this one. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Crop it, creep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's drawing first. All right, so he appears to have no problem with being RoboSock. Ryder, unlike Alex Murphy, does not care. He's like, I'm fucking... He's got bulletproof sterns <laughs> That's or whatever right. the fuck it That's was. Right. Yeah, bulletproof bullet uh, manver. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He's Damn, dude, look at this sock cock. <laughs> Whoa! That it did not at all draw like the other one. Nope. That's kind of dope with the tube socks there. Look, the they bottom, gave him though. keys with a little sock keychain on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he's therm proof. You got it. Or thermy proof. <laughs> Something like that. All right, Theramy here we go. Proof. Let's try it. Interior of the Lentropolis Police Department that day. Robosock, now fully transformed, stands in the precinct. Officer, officers around him are in awe of his new form and capabilities. Ah, Robosock, this is your new patrol unit. State of the art, just like you. He hands Robosock, Robosock the keys to a sleek, high-tech patrol car. Thank you, Captain. It's time <laughs> to clean up the streets. Ah, yes! <laughs> I love it! It's the area of Lentropolis streets that day. Uh, it should be nighttime by now. RoboSock's patrol car cruises the streets of Lentropolis. Number one, the purse snatcher. A sock thief snatches a purse from an elderly lady's sock and runs. RoboSock swiftly intercepts using his enhanced speed. He retrieves the purse and hands it back to the lady. Oh, thank you, RoboSock! Just doing my duty, ma'am. <laughs> Goddamn. Number two, the graffiti vandals. Two teenage socks are spray paint. <coughs> excuse me, spray painting a wall. Robosock arrives, startling them. He uses a built-in cleaning spray from his finger to remove the graffiti. <gasps> Respect your city. Find a better way to express yourselves. The teens totally nod because he's a fucking robot. And, uh, yeah, fine. <laughs> we're, we're getting Whatever the fuck say, on bro. out. Whatever you say. Yeah, I'd be nodding too. Right. <laughs> and number three, a group of socks is fighting. <laughs> group of socks is fighting in an alley. Robosock steps in, his presence alone, enough to stop the fight. <gasps> he scans them with his thermal vision, ensuring no one is seriously hurt. Break it up. Settle your differences peacefully. The socks disperse, avoiding RoboSock's stern gaze. Yeah. God damn, man. Yeah. Look at that gaze. Wow. Look at the stern gaze. He's got a stern gaze. Draw that third so crime. So stern, you can name it Howard. <laughs> Draw crime three, please. I just want to see <laughs> if it see. makes a gang of fucking socks. That would be awesome. You know? I mean, it thinks that it's a gang of socks. Why would they not draw? I agree. Of socks. I agree. We want crime well, working three. working on that. Crime three. The third crime of all the crimes. So we need uh, an instance now where he like meets somebody, right? 
<laughs> oh shit, dude! <laughs> he's getting more Robo and less Sock, but now at least he's fighting Sock, <laughs> and he's like getting bigger. He's almost as big as buildings now. <laughs> <laughs> really well built. That's right. He's well built. Robo Sock. Uh, the most Robo of all socks. Or is it the most socky of all Robo? Draw that again and make. Robo sock, more okay. like your first image of him, right? Make him a reasonable size, please. <laughs> it's only fucking six feet tall. It's a six foot tall sock. That's already pretty fucking. That's big. already a large sock. That's already a that big is a large sock, sock. man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, what kind of foot is that sock going on? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, the knit gang. <clears throat> right. Right. Mm -hmm. Planning a. <laughs> that is That's straight Matt graining. I was gonna say that is very graining. Yeah, yeah, that is straight up Futurama, Land of the Socks, dude. And less like the original drawing than the <laughs> right. than it was before. <laughs> Tell yeah. it make all all the characters more sock like in the future. Mm -hmm. Greg, subscribe with Prime for forty. What up, Greg? What Appreciate up, Greg? Appreciate it. Uh, planning another heist and find out they are receiving weapons mm -hmm. from the same company that built RoboSock. Come on, Sal. Come on, Sal. Mm -hmm. Tigers Be specific. Play. Give Tonight. the company a name that is a laundry-related <laughs> acronym. I love it. I love it. I mean, let's see if it can do it, dude. It is smarter than it used to be. That's true. It's happening very quickly. Okay, let's try it. Kabang. All right. It didn't remember to do an image. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. It's, All right, it's that's smarter, fine. but it doesn't have as great of a memory. Right. Like. Interior yeah. of an abandoned warehouse that night. The Knit Gang is huddled together, planning another heist. Wooly to Weave unfolds a blueprint of a high-security building. This is our next target, boys. The Lintropolis Central Bank. It's going to be our biggest score yet. Oh, how are we going to get past the security? It's time. <laughs> That's where our new partners come in. He reveals a crate of high-tech weapons from Zorg. <laughs> Interior of the same abandoned warehouse continuous. The crate has a logo, Laundry. <laughs> laundry Advanced Utility and Nifty Device Research Yard. All right, okay. I okay. mean, the first word is the acronym, but that's right, fine. Right, That's okay, that, that happens sometimes. Thanks to our new friends at Laundry, we've got the, the latest tech. These babies will cut through security like a hot knife through butter. Ho ho ho! I never knew laundry folks were so handy with weapons. They're the same company that built RoboShock. Irony, isn't it? <laughs> we're using their tech against their own creation! <laughs> the gang members laugh, examining the weapons with excitement. Uh, exterior of Lintropolis Central Bank that night, the gang, armed with their new weapons, approaches the Central Bank ready for the heist. Stay sharp, everyone. Once we're in, grab as much as you can. And if Robo Sock shows up... He pats the weapon confidently. Mm -hmm. We'll be ready for him. The gang members nod, their faces determined and malicious. Woo! God damn! Yeah! Oh, I like oh, it. Oh, yeah. Man. I like it a lot. It says Landry, but <laughs> it's okay. We'll let it slide, man. Tom Landry. What did he have to do yep. with this, you know? God, I don't know why they have bunny ears. This guy's got one, but that, <laughs> oh, what is happening here? And the acronym just kind of go, tra trails off. It's a lot of blah, 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 blah. Uh, and the research, blah, blah, research oh, yeah. I like this guy right here. <laughs> That's got to be the Al Pacino, right? I guess so. Oh, look at all those weapons. They're looking great. Are the weapons like knitting needles and shit down here? <laughs> it looks like it. Looks like it. Wow. Maybe that a is fucking airbrush awesome. down there? I, don't, I can't tell. Oh, my God. Okay, well, they're going faster than I thought, uh, which means that we're going to have to really amp this up in the second half because, I mean, RoboSock's got to come stop them. Yeah. 
You know? Oh, yeah. Things are about to... A couple of them get killed. A couple of them get away. Robosox stops the heist. Turns out the company that built them didn't want to do that. So in Act 2, we would find out that they're going to try to stop him specifically. I, yeah, I mean, this isn't this isn't Final Showdown. This is the uh, I work for Dick Jones part. You know, But he's that's gotta, way later in that movie. Is this is still Act 1, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, we're... We're going to get through two RoboCop movies in this, basically. Okay, well then, I'm just going to call it... Uh, okay, let's let's write dialogue for the next sequence. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. First, RoboSock. <laughs> Robo- RoboSock! <laughs> has a... Conversation with his uh, partner. What was it? Sal the Slides or something? <laughs> uh, 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 Wooly, <laughs> Wooly Walters? No, that's the bad guy. No, oh. that's the bad oh, guy. Oh, uh, yeah. Lou, Lou uh, the Loafer. Lou the Loafer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With his partner Lou uh, about, um, uh, uh, you know, what needs <laughs> to be done in this city. Love Game says. Are the plans of the Knit Gang about to hit a snag? <laughs> Tune in next week. <laughs> uh, they Gotta then do my best Frank Welker. <laughs> get, the, right, get the call Good. for the uh, uh, heist at the Central Meanwhile, Bank. at the Laundry Headquarters. <laughs> um, at the Central Bank. Leave in a hurry. Talk about cop stuff. Cop stuff. They gotta get sock some, stuff. They gotta get that sock stuff, way, that cop stuff in there. Then show up at the scene. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. A uh, shootout ensues. I guess. Some of the uh, uh, knit, knit gang, gang yeah. comes undone, and some escapes, but Robo Sock, Robo Sock, and the lo- Lou and Lou, Lou the Loafer mm-hmm. foiled their plot. Dot dot dot. For now. For now. Right. Okay. For now. Yes. Yes. That's more like uh, uh, a musical yeah. guest. Oh, what's his name? On SNL. Guest. Don Pardo. Don Pardo. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Meanwhile. holes of Soxtus. <laughs> In the Lintopolis City Hall. Interior of LPD that night. (laughs) Robosock and Detective Lou the Loafer Spencer are having a serious conversation. This city's unraveling, Lou. We need to stitch it back together. Yeah, I hear you, Robo. But it's tough when the bad guys seem to be one step ahead. Oh, no! We gotta regenerate! Did it do it? It's it did nah, not do it. Okay. Nah. Ah, boy, fucking gypped. So chat uh, gypped. You know, uh, take two. Uh, yeah, t- let's let's, yeah, uh, let's we go had back to, to send one. it back to the writer for some rewrites. Uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna cut all that in post. I'm sorry, you know, yeah. we'll we'll send it back to them. They clearly didn't know what they were fucking doing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, let's try it again. Now this time, instead of him telling me we got to clean up the streets and me going, I understand. It's me telling him I, we got to clean up the streets and him saying, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Interior of LPD day. Robosock and Detective Lou, the loafer Spencer, are in a serious conversation. Robosock, this city's falling apart. We need to do something. I know, Lou. The corruption, the crime, it's like a never-ending cycle. Yeah. And now with the Knit Gang on the loose again, I... The police radio crackles to life, interrupting them. Call units, we have a 211 in progress. And that's more like a strip club DJ. <laughs> yeah, like, if you left your lights on in the parking lot, you will be towed at the Lentropolis <laughs> Central Bank. Coming up on the main Suspects stage, are it's Mercedes. Heavily armed. <laughs> Coming up next, it's Threadbare. All right. Cinnamon. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> that's got to be the Knit Gang. Let's go. We can't <laughs> let them get away this time. They rush yes. out of the precinct. Interior of Robo Sox patrol car. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> Robosock and Lou are in the patrol car speeding toward the bank. 
Hey, uh, say, uh, Robo, uh, not for nothing or nothing, but uh, you think they got those new tricks up them sleeves? Hmm? You know, sleeves. Probably. <laughs> but we have our own tricks now. <laughs> you know, you ever miss being a regular sock, Jim? Jim Sometimes. <laughs> but this is who I am now. Lintropolis needs Robo Sock. Yeah, he's believing nice. in himself. Fuck yeah, dude. I love it. They approach the bank. The bank. Sirens blaring. We got sirens and gunfire duel. Let's hit it, man. Whee! Exterior of the Lintropolis Central Bank. Moments later, Robo Sock and Lou arrive at the bank. The Knit Gang is in the midst of the heist. A shootout ensues as they exit the patrol car. Hey, these guys are really back in heat. Stay down, Lou. I'll handle this. <laughs> Robosock moves in using his cybernetic enhancements to disarm and immobilize the gang members. Some of the Nick gang members come undone in the fray. <laughs> Even <laughs> While in the others manage to escape. <laughs> we stopped them, but some got away. <laughs> For now. But we'll keep fighting, Lou. We'll keep fighting. For Lintropolis. Yes, dude. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, look at that shootout. Look at the fucking shootout. Oh man. I don't know which one is RoboSock. It looks like the bad guys are in the cop car, <laughs> and it looks like Sock Cop went to a bondage club today. <laughs> He's steampunk sock cop. Uh, steampunk Mr. Freeze sock cop just blowing them all away. My wife, Nora. rat a tat tat <laughs> Oh, this is a cosplay convention. Even Freddy Krueger's back there. That's Look at that. right. That's right. Pretty good, though, man. You want to give us a read on some of this there, Adam? <laughs> all right. <clears throat> this sequence highlights the partnership between RoboSock and Lou their commitment to fighting crime in Lintropolis, and their initial success against the Knit Gang. Here's the image depicting the intense shootout scene at the Lintropolis Central Bank, featuring Robosock and Detective Lou, the Loafer Spencer, in action against the Knit Gang. The scene captures the dynamic partnership between Robosock and Lou as they work together to thwart the gang's heist. Nice. Uh, no, yes. Yes. Yeah. Woo! I think they're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> How can they not with Robo Sock on their side? I agree. I agree. He is the most Robo of all socks. When there's cop the in the on Central Bank. Lintropolis. <laughs> L. Lintropinson's. Lintropinson's Centaral Bank. Centaral. That's where you get. Uh, that's how where you learn how to be uh, thrim proof. <laughs> Thermy proof. Throw your best thrims. They will not hurt me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's even got bulletproof manver. So you're pretty much out of luck. You know. That is that what kind of weapon he's holding there? Is that a bulletproof manver? Bulletproof manver. He's impenetrable. And that looks more like a like a hearse or an ambulance than a police vehicle. <laughs> oh, it does. But it is uh, Lintropolis, so the sirens definitely sound French. All right, I think we're Le- ready to go here. Uh, oh, he's got the fucking cop lights down that's there, right. man. That's right, dude. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's do the news here. Oh, boy. Just like in RoboCop, you give us three minutes and we'll give you the world. That's right. Interior of a Lentropolis news studio that night, two newscasters, oh, it didn't give them names, male Aww. and female, are seated at the news desk with images of RoboSock in action playing behind them. Adam, I'll do the female with you. I'm okay. gonna do <clears throat> Edith Bunker. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jake Manley, (laughs) and this is the news. In recent news, the city's newest hero, Robosock, has been making waves by cleaning up the streets of Lindropolis. That's right, Tom. I'm Tom. Tom Tomlinson. I'm going to just try to hold falsetto. (laughs) For being pretty close to thwarting major heists. 
Robosock is quickly becoming a symbol of hope in our fight against crime. That is super high. <laughs> Images of great, oh boy, it broke uh, down there. Wow. Images of grateful citizens and Robosock in action continue to play. <laughs> Truly a remarkable transformation from Detective Jim Ryder to the cyborg enforcer we see today. The city sleeps a little safer tonight. Thanks to Robosock. <laughs> Terrible. Thank you, Lisa. Exterior of a Lintropolis rooftop at night. Robosock stands alone on a rooftop overlooking the city. The night sky is illuminated by city lights. He reflects on his past life and on his trans transformation. I used to walk these streets. Just a sock and a badge. Now I'm something more. Something different. But the fight, the fight remains the same. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He clenches his fist, determination in his eyes. Interior of the Lentropolis Police Department day. Robosock, Captain Heel, and Detective Lou the Loafer Spencer are in a serious discussion. We need to do more. It's not just about fighting crime on the streets. It's not <laughs> fighting the corruption that feeds it. We're with you, Robosock, but what do you propose? L-A-U-N-D-R-Y. <laughs> Laundry. They're not just a tech company. They're part of the problem. They build me, but that doesn't mean I serve them. I serve this city and its people. Hell yeah. I mean, you know, just like the captain said, you know, we're with you, Jim. We're with you all the way. Then it is settled. We take the fight to them. We expose their corruption, dismantle their operations, and save Lintropolis. Ha! You can count on us, Robosock, even though I'm the captain here. <laughs> Let's clean up this city once and for all. Fuck yeah, yeah! man! God damn it! Dude, I feel like this movie got is so big already. Robosock has to like build a team of cops that are on his side, and it's got to be Ooh. like all-out assault up there. We are gonna start piling bodies up in yes. this movie. I think. I love it. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, dude, Sock Cop, you are the man. That was fucking great, dude. Th Hell this yes. is killer. Hell yeah. Yes. This one is working out fucking great. great. I don't see how that's a sock. Dude. Guys, that was that was a hell of an act one, the if you ask me. Oh, yes. Yes, it oh, yeah. was, indeed. Now, here's our problem with an act one like that, guys. We just did a whole movie in, in one act, really. Yeah, that was a lot. That so we've got to go much, much bigger. It's got to get out of control. Now yeah, I feel like uh, Laundry may have to build like an evil Robo Sock, like an Ed 209, to give to the Lint Mob. How are they not the Lint Mob? That's better. <laughs> the Knit Gang. The Knit Gang. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Give mm -hmm. it to them so that they can try to take out Robosock while he's attempting to expose them for whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I like the idea of there still being a problem with his programming somewhere, like in Robocop, the Directive 4 stuff. <laughs> right. I'd like to do that, too. <laughs> I also uh, told GPT, to, can we make him a little bit more sock? Socky? They need more, to go more sock-like. More sock. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, a controlling computer chip to implant in RoboSock where he starts committing crimes? Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, man. And maybe they have to build the evil one later. Like, when this plan doesn't work, that's their last plan. Right, Act 3. Right. 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 That's not mm -hmm. bad. When they build Thread 209. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay, but I feel like regardless, next... We have to see like the CEO of Laundry or whatever, right? right? Played by what do you Kirkwood mean, RoboSock foiled our heist? Yeah. We got to do something. Blah 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 blah. Okay. I'm gonna give him the Clarence Boddicker voice, even though that's more like the Dick Jones role. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, that's fine. He could still be Red yeah, Foreman. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Socks okay. don't like me. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right, so next we see the CEO of Laundry, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess CEO, uh, hearing the news that his heist was thwarted, thwarted. by Robosock. Thwarted. In a rage, uh, he demands that the uh, um, uh, department mm -hmm. that built Robosock alter his programming to make him help 
whenever he uh, 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 make him help the knit gang commit crimes uh, when the culprits are uh, a part of the <laughs> knit gang. And they say the magic phrase. <laughs> and or <laughs> affiliated Your with... Your bright sprider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by saying a key phrase mm -hmm. to RoboSock. Gotta activate him, you know? Uh, yeah, to activate it. Be specific. Yeah, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I feel like we're okay here. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we get here, guys. All okay, right, moving on with Act go. 2 of RoboSock. Interior of the Laundry Headquarters Day. The CEO of Laundry, Mr. Suds. <laughs> I like it. A sharply dressed, authoritative sock is watching the news about the foiled heist in his office. He slams his sock fist on the desk in anger. Come on, Sal. RoboSock. He's ruining everything. He turns to Dr. Fiber, the lead scientist of the department that built RoboSock. Sock, you want to do Dr. Fiber? <laughs> sure. You built RoboSock. I want you to reprogram Look at him. my face, Dick. Make him work for us. But Mr. Suds, that's highly unethical. <laughs> we designed him to protect, not to commit crimes. Either you do it or you find yourself unraveling. Make it so that when someone from the Knit Gang or our affiliates says the phrase, Threads weave the darkest tales, wow. Robo Sock will assist in their crimes. Yeah, yeah. Understood, Mr. Suds. I'll make the necessary modifications. Mr. Suds smirks, pleased with his goddamn plan. <laughs> and dear the laundry lab that day, Dr. Fiber and his team are reluctantly working on a device to alter RoboSock's programming. <laughs> the tension in the room is palpable. Oh, I can't believe we're doing this. We're turning a hero into a criminal's puppet. We don't have a choice. Let's hope RoboSock can resist this somehow. <laughs> I sound like Hanna Barbera characters. <laughs> the team. That's what I was going for. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, you sound like a uh, exit stage left. Even what's his fucking name? Oh, we go with the for Snaggle Puss. <laughs> Snaggle Puss. Yeah. It was kind of a little Come bit of Ed Wynn in there too. <laughs> right. Exterior of Lentropolis Streets. Day. Robosock is patrolling the city, unaware of the impending danger to his programming. A shadow. <laughs> A shadowy figure from the Knit Gang, Soxy Malone, spots him. He approaches Robosock with a sly grin. <laughs> hey, Robosock, threads weave the darkest tales, eh? <laughs> Robosock pauses, his system suddenly glitching as the reprogramming takes effect. Awaiting instructions. <laughs> Soxy Malone smirks, <laughs> realizing the programming worked. Yeah. God damn, look at this. Oh, uh, F you and the schist. <laughs> <laughs> L.A. Leary, RoboSock, that 3D's socks all per socks programming. <laughs> I'm gonna sit up with myself. F you and the schist. <laughs> That's a good name for a band. Uh, F you and the schist. Yeah, I like it. Uh, coming out with their new album, L.A. Leary. Oh, my God. You want to give us a read there? <clears throat> the second act begins with a sinister turn, introducing a new layer of conflict for RoboSock. Here's the image depicting the tense scene at the laundry headquarters, where CEO Mr. Suds confronts Dr. Fiber about reprogramming RoboSock. The image captures Mr. Sud's anger and Dr. Fiber's ethical dilemma, setting a sinister tone for the developments in Act 2 and for L.A. Leary. F you and the schists. <laughs> F you and the schists. F you and the schists you wrote in on. <laughs> the schists. Uh, you got a socks uh, all per socks programming, man. He's not wrong, man. Very important. He's not wrong. All right, here we go. Exterior of a Lentropolis convenience store that night. Soxy Malone reads, <laughs> ro leads Robosock toward the convenience store. 
Robosock moves stiffly, still under the influence of the reprogramming. <laughs> All right, Robo. Let's see you put those skills to use for us. Robosock stands outside the store, struggling internally. I must resist this programming. Too bad, Metal Man. You're under our control now. Go on, get us some cash. Reluctantly, Robosock enters the store. Interior of the convenience store continuous. The store clerk, a nervous sock, looks up in surprise as Robosock enters. Uh, Robosock, what are you doing here? I am here to rob this store. He approaches the register, his movements robotic and unwilling. <laughs> But you're a hero! <laughs> Robosock hesitates, his programming conflicting with his true nature. I cannot control. He takes the cash from the register, handing it to Soxy Malone, who waits outside. <laughs> outside the convenience store, Soxy Malone takes the cash, laughing triumphantly. <laughs> Good job there, Robo. You done quite the criminal work. <laughs> <laughs> Robosock stands there, his expression one of deep conflict and despair. What have I become? Oh, oh Robosock! No. Oh, he's, he's the monster he warned us all about. He's back to looking like Bender oh. somehow on here. <laughs> This sequence shows the distressing situation Robosock is in, being forced to act against his will and the principles he was built to uphold. Here's the image depicting the scene where Robosock, under the control of Soxy Malone, is forced to rob a convenience store. The image captures the moral conflict and distress in Robosock, contrasted against Soxy Malone's triumphant demeanor. Nice. It looks they more both like... look okay with I, it. He don't seem distressed, really. It's like Soxy yeah, it's, Malone it's was, totally fine. was homeless and cold, and Robosock walked up and handed him some money, and he's all like, Here awesome. you go, fella. Right outside the, right store. outside the Noivink <laughs> store. <laughs> Where else are you going to get your Noivink? <laughs> Noivink. <laughs> right from the Noivink store. Uh, how is he? I mean, you gotta treat that manver somehow. It's all oh, bulletproof. Big store. Nyak, nyak. Nyak, nyak, nyak. <laughs> uh, socks all. Uh, socks all per socks programming. That's very important. <laughs> if we've learned anything tonight. Oh, yeah. One can only very be important. thrim proof. <laughs> <laughs> I got that in a fortune cookie once. That's right. <laughs> What was it? F F U F U and the shiz. F U and the shiz. It gets me every time. F U and the shiz. The voice is great too of Robo Sock. I agree. It's you're nailing it, my friend. Oh, nailing thank it. you. I appreciate that. Yes, indeed. indeed. All right, let's keep it rolling here, guys. I'll just try to keep it therm proof. That's right. <laughs> That's right, man. Interior of the Lentropolis News Studio that night. This is L N. Uh mm. Ty Clip and Polly Cotton are back on the air. Ah, Ty okay. Clip? Polly Cotton! Ty Clip and Polly Cotton. <laughs> That's great. Wow, back on the air this time with a grim update. Ty Clip. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the news. I am Ty Clip. In a shocking turn of events, Robosock, once hailed as a hero, has been spotted committing a robbery. Footage from the convenience store's security camera shows Robosock taking cash. <laughs> Citizens are now questioning the integrity of our cybernetic enforcer, Bobby. <laughs> what led to this drastic change in behavior remains a mystery for now. Lintropolis's faith in Robocop is severely shaken. The Polly. broadcast ends with a replay of the robbery footage. God damn. damn. Inside the PD, Detective Lou, the loafer Spencer, stands in front of a room of skeptical officers, including Captain Heel. Uh huh. Listen, something's not right, okay? I know my buddy Robosaki wouldn't do this. But he did do he's, it. But he's got to be, he's been, he's been compromised. He, some, I, I saw it on not, the fucking he's news. He's like I a saw robot it on the fucking or, news. or a zombie or something. Uh, no, when no, has no, the news ever it. lied to us, I Lou? Know, I, I know, saw I, it right there on the that fucking news. Detective Spencer, I understand your loyalty, but the evidence is clear. Robosock has turned. No, Captain. 
We built them to protect, not to harm. We owe it to him to find out the truth. Yeah, all right, Lou. Go find RoboSock and bring him in. We need answers. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. I'll bring him back the right way. Lou exits the precinct set on finding his partner. None of these guys are socks. <laughs> They're probably not even wearing socks. Yeah, I bet half of them aren't cops. It's <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. That guy's got his badge on his hat. What's happening over here? <laughs> Uh, well, he's got, There's nothing you know, wrong with that. Yeah, he's got the badges on hats are okay. Yeah, but not that kind of hat. That kind of hat. <laughs> yeah, but, but not, that's a not, baseball not cap. Not a ball cap. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he plays for the the Pittsburgh policeman. That's, just, that's a baseball <laughs> that's team. Right. That's right, man. Uh, Nonetheless, he he is giving us. I don't know why the podium would be in front of the audience like that. It's, right. He's facing the wrong way. And I don't know why he's at a podium. It sounded kind of like they were all just kind of standing around just the room. Just milling around. Yeah, just talking about the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's giving a speech. <laughs> this sequence captures the city's changing perception of RoboSock and sets the stage for Detective Lou's mission to uncover the truth. Here's the image depicting the scene in the Lintropolis Police Department, where Detective Lou, the loafer Spencer, is earnestly addressing a room full of skeptical officers at a podium, passionately defending RoboSock's integrity while Captain Heel listens. The image captures the tense and doubtful atmosphere as Lou strives to convince them of RoboSock's compromise. I mean, look at their faces. <laughs> None of them agree. He's got a very strong case that he must present in order to change minds of that stature. And that one guy's got a badge on his baseball cap. <laughs> That's how you know he's a real sock. Oh, uh, cop. <laughs> in case there was any giveaway. question. Right. <clears throat> Okay, All now right. he's got to go find him, right? Right, right. Because he's got to fix him, you know? Like, oh, Robo, what have they done to you? You know? Well, I mean, I feel like while they're out there not paying attention, some of these guys are going to show up and Lou's getting killed. Right? They'll activate RoboSock. He kills the partner. No! no. All right. And that snaps him out of it? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. His his friend of uh, his treasures with the friendships he made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Exterior of a Lintropolis junkyard. Oh, she just had a laundry basket. What am I doing? Exterior of the hamper that night. Detective <laughs> Lou the Loafer Spencer finds Robosock sitting amidst piles of scrap metal and discarded non laundry related items. Yeah. Robosock looks defeated. Hey, buddy. Uh, Robosock. Hey, uh, it's me, Lou. <laughs> You know, your buddy, you are right back there. Robosack! Lou, I don't know what's happening to me. I can't control my actions. It's like I'm being overridden. Hey, 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 tell me everything, buddy. Robosack and Lou have a deep conversation under the moonlit sky. <laughs> come close, that's pretty come romantic. Closer here. Come closer. Tell me everything, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> It started after the bank heist. Whenever I hear the phrase, threads weave the darkest tales. Just Don't said say it, it Jesus! Why are you telling him what it <laughs> is? I'm, just gonna troll. I'm forced to do whatever they command. Well, that sounds like some sort of reprogramming or something. I don't know. What a, what a robot's got to do, you know? They reprogram them. That's what they do. We suspect that it was laundry, and we suspect that they had something to do with this. L A U N D R Y. They must be behind this. They created me and now they're using me as a weapon. Don't worry, Robo. We're going to expose them. We're going to show everyone the truth. I was made to protect this city. If L-A-U-N-D-R-Y is corrupt, then they are my enemy too. Yeah. Yeah. We're in this together, buddy. Let's clean up this mess. Robosock stands up, a renewed sense of purpose in his eyes. Let's do this for Lentropolis. Yeah. yeah. They are getting less and less. Oh. What is he now? Is that, 
That's He's a muppet. <laughs> robo or He's, sock. This is not sock or, or cop or robo or anything. He looks like a uh, uh, fozzy bear. <laughs> <laughs> waka waka. <laughs> Reprogrammed. <laughs> waka waka. Draw that <laughs> one again. Committing Make crimes. Robo waka sock. waka. A robot sock cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Half robot, <laughs> half sock, all cop. Amara says, Saka, Saka. <laughs> <laughs> Did you accidentally right. uh, get the goldfish edition of uh, Chat GPT? Yeah, right? apparently. Good God. It keeps fucking forgetting, man. RoboSock and Lou are now united in their mission against laundry, setting the stage for the upcoming confrontation. Here's the image capturing the poignant moment in the junkyard where Detective Lou the Loafer Spencer finds and connects with RoboSock. The scene is somber, yet it highlights the unity and determination of the two characters to fight against L-A-U-N-D-R-Y under the moonlit sky. <laughs> okay, now he looks like a fucking Terminator. Holy shit! That's scary. Right? I, I said half robot, half sock, all cop. Yeah, where's the sock part or the cop part? <laughs> they were just like, eh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Robot, here you go. <laughs> Yeah, I got back to the robot. Whatever. Oh, whatever. Leave me alone. Yeah, it don't matter. No, what are you gonna do? Not. Punch me in the nose? Threaded justice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, <clears throat> excuse me. Members of the Knit Gang show up to the junkyard after tracking Robo Sock with laundry technology. Mm -hmm. Laundry tech. Fine. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole division, you know? Yeah, right, you got it, laundry man. Laundry tech. With laundry tech. Mm -hmm. uh, they use the phrase that pays. And Ariston. <laughs> and activate RoboSock, uh -huh. forcing him to kill his partner. Oh, no. Then laughing at him. Oh. <laughs> And Robo oh, Sock uh, and, feels and so much internal rage that he breaks the reprogramming <laughs> and, and 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 takes out every single member of the Knit Gang. Dropping. After yes. each kill, he delivers uh, an awesome <laughs> and hilarious. Uh, uh, laundry based. <laughs> yeah, uh, clothing based one liner. Yes. Like in an 80s action movie. And uh, describe the way he dispatches Des each criminal. Describe in uh, great yeah, detail. Yeah, his encounter with each criminal. And remember to make them all socks. Criminal. Okay. <laughs> Crim, crim, criminal. Criminal. <laughs> Those damn criminals. <laughs> Remember to make them all socks. And throw uh, more thick socks. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Here we go. I love this song for it. I, I do. It it's perfect. Uh, yeah, this is the part where his chest opens and he throws out a hydrogen cell and right. explodes on the side of the road. That's Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, exterior of the Lentropolis junkyard that night. The Knit Gang, led by Soxy Malone, oh, stealthily Soxie. enters the junkyard equipped with laundry tech. <laughs> Time to pull the strings on a puppet. That's not bad. He spots Robo Sock and Lou. Hey, Robo Sock! Threads huh? weave the darkest tales, Robo. <laughs> Robosock's programming kicks in. He turns toward Lou, his expression pained. Robo, no! Fight it! I can't. In a sudden movement, Robosock raises his arm but then stops, his internal system sparking with conflict. No, I won't do it. But he didn't kill him. He was supposed to kill him. He didn't do it. He breaks free from the programming, <laughs> turning his rage toward the net gang. 
Number one, RoboSock grabs Scarface, played by Al Pacino, a lanky sock with a long oh. scarf, and tosses him into a compactor. Oh, no, not the compactor! Time to get a little pressed. What? Awesome. He also confronts Mitten Hands, a sock with thick glove like appendages. RoboSock's cybernetic hand crushes Mitten Hands into a ball. Looks like you've been balled up. <laughs> a sporty uh, uh, sock uh. named Sneaker tries to run, <laughs> but RoboSock's enhanced speed allows him to catch up and tie Sneaker in a knot. Should have tied your laces, Sneaker. Awesome. Uh, Wooly the uh. Weave Walters, the bulky leader, faces off with RoboSock. After a brief scuffle, RoboSock uses a metal beam to pin Wooly down. Oy. Looks like you've become unraveled. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Soxie Malone tries to escape, but RoboSock's precise shot with a grappling hook snags him back. You're out of Sock Malone. <laughs> After defeating the last member of the Knit Gang, RoboSock stands amid the chaos, breathing heavily. Lou looks at him, both shocked and relieved. Robo, you broke free. No one controls me. Not anymore. God and then damn, he kills Robo Lou. <laughs> stamp, 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 shake, shake, shake. Uh, okay, we really I needed the partner you. to die right here. That's going to have to be the end of Act Two. Right. Mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. This midpoint twist showcase. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to look at all these little yarn guys. I mean, and Robo Sock looks very Decepticon. <laughs> right? I mean, he's got socks on at least. Yeah, at least they're. Uh, yeah, I got leg warmers. Closer to sock like <laughs> things. All right. It did There's pretty good with describing the murders. Yeah. At least. Uh -huh. The one liners left a little to be desired. <laughs> it, uh, it, you're it, out of sock? What does that mean? <laughs> what is that a pun on? I have no you're idea. out of luck? You're out I of, don't know. You're out of pocket? That would have been better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. This midpoint twist showcases RoboSock's internal struggle and eventual triumph over his programming, along with some Shit, classic. I'm sorry. What was the leader of uh, Laundry called? Mr. Suds. Uh, Mr. Suds. Yeah. Okay. Classic action movie one-liners. Here's the image depicting the intense showdown in the junkyard from RoboSock Threaded Justice. It shows RoboSock having broken free from his reprogramming, powerfully confronting the Knit Gang. The scene is dynamic and action-packed, capturing RoboSock in the midst of defeating the uniquely designed anthropomorphic sock members of the gang, all set against the chaotic backdrop of the junkyard. This image embodies the essence of an 80s action movie with a humorous twist. Fuck yeah, yes! man. Love an action comedy. Oh, yeah. It's time to spool some fools. He <laughs> 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 love games. That's a great line. Uh, first time chat from Beetlejuice509 says, Hello, how's it going tonight? We are writing an awesome movie about good. sock robot cops. Hey, it's my friend Beetlejuice. How's it going, my friend? And the justice... They're in. Doled out. I mean, They're in. How is it going, my friend? <laughs> He's robotized right now. My programming is <laughs> Caddy Wampus. <laughs> He's got Caddy Wampus programming right now. <laughs> His dad gum programming. We were watching earlier, you go, Dad gum. <laughs> <laughs> I went, how is this motherfucker not Appalachian? He just said dad gum. <laughs> dad gum. Oh, you don't, you don't say dad gum where you're from? Oh, nah, that's good stuff. Nah. That's we, good we say god dang. God dang. <laughs> god dang. That's pretty good, too. That's okay. That means it's got to start all going wrong. We're after the half, so it has to all go wrong for Sock Cop now. Yes. Which means that Mr. Suds has to, has to fucking... You know, fire everything at this point. So that means the evil thread 209 or whatever is going to have to fucking kill the partner. Right, you right, know? right, right. Okay. All right, here we go. Interior of Laundry's headquarters that night. Mr. Suds, visibly enraged, is watching the news about the defeat of the Knit Gang. He slams his hand on the desk, causing a cup of coffee to spill. This robo sack become a thorn in our side. He picks up the phone and dials a number. 
activate Operation Left Foot. It's time to bring in the big guns. Interior of a secret laundry lab. A group of scientists activates a large menacing robot sock named Sockzilla. Ah, Okay. I wanted Thread 209. Right. (laughs) Sockzilla is a towering figure equipped with advanced weaponry, including laser eyes, retractable steel-toed boots. (laughs) <laughs> and arms that transform into various tools and weapons. For powerful kicks. Powerful <laughs> kicks. Stitches leave. Uh, uh, Sockzilla activation complete. Your mission? Eliminate Robo Sock. Gliving. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll be the evil sock. All right. Okay. Acknowledged. Robo sock will be neutralized. Yeah. The lab lights wow. reflect off Sockzilla's sleek. I'm just trying to do how you do, sock. <laughs> uh, off Sockzilla's sleek dark fabric as it marches out of the lab ready for its mission. Exterior of the Lentropolis streets that night, Sockzilla moves through the streets. It sensors scanning for Robo sock. Pedestrians scatter in fear as it passes by, its footsteps causing the ground to tremble. No. Target acquisition in progress. Robosock will be found. (laughs) Its eyes glow ominously as it continues its relentless search. Damn, look at this fucking guy. Oh, look at that. How is he a sock dog? How is he a sock? Hot dog. There there is no sock. Somebody get that tattooed on him. That's (laughs) kind of awesome. There is no sock happening in this picture, though. No. No, <laughs> there are no, there's nothing the laundry related about socks. any of this. None of it. He's not even thrim proof. <laughs> <laughs> this sequence not even close to being thrim proof. Sockzilla, a formidable adversary for Robo Sock, and sets the stage for their impending confrontation. Here's the image showcasing the activation of Sockzilla in the secret laundry lab. Sockzilla is depicted as a towering, menacing robot sock. Well, How is he a sock? There's no. not much sock, but lots of robot and very robot. menacing. <laughs> Equipped with advanced weaponry like laser eyes and retractable steel-toed boots that look <laughs> like claws. The lab setting is high-tech and ominous, emphasizing the threat that Sockzilla poses to RoboSock and the city of Lintropolis. The scientists in the background look on in awe at the activation of this formidable adversary. He's like a monster Sock Cop. Remember how Sock Cop thought he was a monster earlier? When that one, not, now this there's is the, re- actual, actual so monster. Now there's real a monster. contrast for him to be ah, a hero. Real this monster! a Sock and a monster and a robot. <laughs> we just kind of took out most of the Sock, unfortunately. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just going to draw a monster. Uh, Latula Parula. Latula Parula! Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh, Latula Parula. During the fight, right? At the end of the sequence, Robosock uh, destroys Sockzilla Sock and yeah. vows to take out Laundry. Laundry. Love Dirty a good vow. Laundry. Once and for all. Okay? Uh-huh. I did, now, they better kill the partner this time. That's twice. That's twice we've tried to kill him. That's true. A prostitute. A prostitute laundry. <laughs> I know it's out of context, sock, but I mean, it's surely true. you watched Syphil and Ollie back in the day. You're but a I, I loved sock. it. Who? <laughs> Never heard of such characters before. Never yeah. heard Never. of them. Uh, Exterior- Never heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> Exterior of an abandoned factory at night. Robosock and Detective Lou the Loafer Spencer are ambushed by Sockzilla. A fierce firefight ensues. Whoa! This guy's a walking armory over here. Ooh. We need to take him down, Lou. You cannot defeat me, Robosock. I am your superior design. Oh, yeah? Well, you look like a walking laundry accident oh. to me. Hey, right, Sock oh, Cop? Hey, In the Robo. heat of the battle, hey. Sockzilla manages to land a critical <laughs> hit on Lou. No! Oh. Lou falls to the ground, hey. wounded fatally. Lou. No. <laughs> Robo. Stop him. 
save the city. Blue's eyes close. Robosock turns to Sockzilla, his anger boiling over. You'll pay for this. Outside of the abandoned factory continues. Robosock engages in hand to sock combat with Sockzilla. Their banter is interspersed with powerful blows. Clang. You're just a sock puppet for the corrupt. Boom. Then it's time to put you through um, the spin cycle. One, oh, uh, wait. Up. Oh, wait. wait. Oh, my bad. I am the pinnacle of laundry technology. <laughs> I did not say your lines. <laughs> <laughs> Then it's time to put you through the spin cycle. And he grabs him and swings him and tosses him. Yeah. The fight intensifies with Robosock gradually gaining the upper hand. Moments later in a final move, Robosock disables Sockzilla's core, causing him to collapse. Looks like you've been hung out to dry. Robosock looks down at Lou's body, his resolve strengthening. L-A-U-N-D-R-Y won't get away with this. I'll take them down for Lou. For Lentropolis. Yes! God damn! Yeah! Look at that! Some sort of robot uh, bug against uh, the Michelin <laughs> it, Man. It kind of looks like bandages. <laughs> yeah, it's and like a, it's like a, it's like like somebody made a uh, like a bug mummy. <laughs> Like a like a bender versus the bug mummy. A <laughs> bug right. was in a, a terrible accident and was almost fatally injured, but he, he was, got he all was wrapped badly up. burned. He was badly burned over most of his carapace. Yeah, they, that's right. They had to bandage him up. They even lost one of his legs apparently, because <laughs> he's got two arms and a leg, and then one arm and a leg. Oh, he's he lost an arm, maybe. Yeah, an yeah, arm, I don't yeah. know. It's hard to say. The end of Act Two sets the stage for the final confrontation in Act Three, with Robosock's resolve to take down Laundry, solidified by the loss of his partner, Lou the Loafer Spencer. Here's the image depicting the climactic battle between Robosock and Sockzilla at the abandoned factory. The scene is intense and dramatic, capturing the fierce hand-to-sock combat between them amidst sparks and the dark. Eerie setting of the factory. The focus is on Robosock's determined expression and powerful stance as he battles to avenge his fallen partner and protect the city. This Get city. out of here with your garbage. <laughs> He's the sock cop hero we need. And robot as well. All awesome. right, here we go. Here we go. Let's do act three, man. Here we go. Here we go. That's, that's the darkest day for the hero, man. He broke the programming. He killed the monster. He thinks he's in control. I'm sure both of those things won't come back to him in the third act at all. No. His partner's sure. fucking killed. Uh-huh. Right? City's a mess. He's got bad press. The cops don't fucking believe him. It's all gone wrong for Robosock. That's right. But here oh. in Act 3, he will prove that he is a hero. We need Interior a hero. of the Lentropolis Police Department Day. Robosock returns to the precinct, his resolve evident. He addresses the assembled officers, including Captain Heal. L A U N D R Y is corrupt. They've used me, and they've taken Lou from us. It's time we clean up their mess. The officers exchange determined looks. We're with you, Robobosak. Let's bring them to justice. And you cut to the fucking armory. It's like close-up shots of dudes Threaded grabbing justice. rifles. They put on the fucking vests like this. Oh, that is what it says. The officers gear up, strapping on bulletproof vests, loading weapons, and cracking clothing-related puns. Time to iron out some criminals. Let's go sock it to Robosock, now equipped with additional gear from the armory, nods in approval. <laughs> Looks like laundry is about twofold. Yeah! Nice. Outside like the PD, it. moments later, a convoy of police cars led by Robosock's high-tech patrol car leaves the precinct. Sirens blare as they head toward Laundry Headquarters. Hey, remember, we need to take Mr. Suds into company custody and shut down their operation. Stay sharp! Oh. oh. <laughs> we'll do it, Captain. For Lou, 
and for Lynch Tropolis. He was just back there rocking in the fucking side. <laughs> I'm just having a moment of silence. The convoy speeds through the city streets, drawing the attention of onlookers. Whoa, look at this cactus. motherfucker. Whoa. It's a cactus. He's a goddamn cactus sock Cactus now. cop. Did the send a lengthy appeal <laughs> compliments? <laughs> Hi to the four feet. Compliments. to Andre and Tither Sulk. <laughs> I want some compliments. <laughs> but only if they have lengthy appeal in it. Please. 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 <laughs> God damn, Did the root and apple compens happened? Pity turf and see to on her thief scoff. Publicic on that guy in the back left. Laquirpy. Take out Laquirpy. That's right. Laquirpy's a uh, big problem. Yeah, and what's with like, the old boy sitting on the floor over here? Lang. He got no shins. He know, shot yeah. Fitty Man. <laughs> <laughs> I killed Fitty Man. Oh Fitty my man. God. All right. Time for the big conflict. It's time. It's time. Yeah. It's time for shit to go down. Kabloom. I mean, only person at laundry left is Mr. Suds, right? Uh, it seems that been way. Been killed. But I guess, you know, at laundry they have a, an unending, unyielding group of You just, think he ain't got more Sockzillas in there? He's got Al Long and a bunch of other dudes in <laughs> there. Al Long's yeah. in there. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I like it. Breaks into laundry. And Duel, I like that song for this, too. Uh, uh. There is a bunch of henchmen to deal with. Led by uh, my boy Al Long, <laughs> who opened fire on the cops. Al Long Johnson. There are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John Piano. <laughs> there are several bodies on both sides, and uh, Robo Sock gets in several great one liners mm-hmm. yeah. after kills. Be specific. Be specific. <laughs> Come they on. They break be specific the lobby and think they have a clear path to Mr. Suds. Yes. All right, here we go. Mr. Oh Suds. Uh, this this is great. This this movie got so much bigger than we were even planning on. <laughs> this is outstanding. Oh yeah, Isn't exterior that the, way it goes? the laundry headquarters day. The LPD convoy screeches to a halt outside the headquarters. Robo Sock and the officers burst out, ready for action. The LPD officers stormed the lobby, met with immediate gunfire from Laundry Henchman, led by the notorious Al Long, yes. a tough and menacing sock with a bandana. Take them Bandana. down! A fierce <laughs> gunfight ensues. Robosock takes cover and then leaps into action. Oh boy, here oh we go. Boy. Robosock sneaks up behind a henchman, disarms him, and uses his own weapon against them. Guess you just got he socked. <laughs> he spots it. <a, laughs> he spots a henchman trying to reload. Robosock throws a metal gear, knocking him out. Metal gear? What? I can't make the sound. Time to put a sock in it. A henchman charges at Robosock with a knife. Robosock grabs him and flips him over. Looks like you're a little unthreaded. And finally, Al Long faces off with Robosock, but Robosock's speed and power, speed and strength overpower him. You should have stuck to the spin cycle, Al. <laughs> After defeating Al Long, uh, Robosock and the officers gain control of the lobby. They pause, catching their breath. The team regroups, preparing to advance further into the headquarters. Good work, team. Now let's move. Suns won't be far. They advance cautiously, expecting more resistance. However, to their surprise, the path seems clear. This is too easy. Stay sharp. They move deeper into the building, alert for any sign of a trap. God damn, man. Yeah. Look at that. He's still kind of a sock All up right. there. All right, OK. It's kind of socked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit socked. Some and cottony he's got skin. The, they got the big bitchin' stash back, man. <laughs> Welcome back, stash. That's right, man. Feed juice. 
There's PPTYP back there. Pippity thread, you all. Feeded juice. Feeded juice. See that good feeded uh, juice, man. La Uki Dryer edited justice. Not to be confused with PP Tip. That's right. PP Tip. PP Tip. I need PP for my God damn, man. This sequence captures the intense action and humor as RoboSock and the LPD confront the henchmen at Laundry Headquarters. Here's the image depicting the intense gunfight in the lobby of Laundry Headquarters from RoboSock Threaded Justice. RoboSock and the LPT officers are engaged in a fierce battle against Al Long and the henchmen. The scene is action-packed and dynamic, showcasing RoboSock's skills and wit as he takes down enemies with his one-liners. Explosions, gunfire, and dramatic poses highlight the high stakes and energy of the confrontation. The focus is on RoboSock's heroic actions and quick wit amid the chaos of the battle. Yes! Nice, man. Yeah! Yes! Old Soxy Malone would be would be pissed right now because his buddy Al Long just got yoked. <laughs> Uh, and scarf face. <laughs> that's still pretty, but that's one of the best ones tonight. I think that's really good. Scarf, scarf face. face. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Pee pee tip. He's got to make his way up to the pee pee tip <laughs> to fight Mister Suds. Mister Suds. Oh, you don't want to get Suds in the pee pee tip. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is, that would be a problem. Especially yeah. shampoo. I, I think we all made that mistake as young boys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can feel it burning right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I, I, I may need a, a beverage after uh, this. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good God. <laughs> All right. Interior of the central chamber of the laundry headquarters. That day, the LPD officers led by RoboSock cautiously enter the central chamber. Suddenly, five Sockzillas emerge from hidden compartments in the walls. Guns a blazing. Ah, take cover! A fierce battle ensues. Despite their best efforts, the LPD officers are way fucking overpowered. Oh, yeah. One by one, they fall, including Captain Heel, no! leaving RoboSock standing alone against five Zockzillas. Sockzillas. 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 The first Sockzilla wields a flamethrower. The kids love that one. RoboSock uses a water... <laughs> uses a water hose to douse the flames and then rips apart his wiring. Looks like you're all washed up. Sockzilla <laughs> 2, armed with a Gatling gun, sprays bullets relentlessly. Robosock uses a magnetic pulse to jam the gun, then dismantles him limb by limb. Time to put a sock in it permanently. Sockzilla number 3 has a laser arm. Robosock deflects the beams with a mirror. Pshum. Laser shield. And then crushes its core. Reflected on your actions yet. Because <laughs> yes. yeah. he used a mirror. Sockzilla number four equipped with rocket launchers. Fires missiles at RoboSock. He catches a missile yeah. and hurls it back, destroying the Sockzilla. Yes. Return to sender. That's fucking awesome, yes. man. Yes. The final Sockzilla has a sonic weapon. Robosock uses sound absorbing materials from the chamber to muffle the weapon and then rips out its sound emitter. <laughs> Looks like you're out of tune. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Exhausted but victorious, Robosock stands amidst the wreckage of the Sockzilla's panting heavily. The room is silent except for the sound of settling debris. Pant, pant. Mr. Suds, <laughs> it's just you and me now. He strides towards the inner sanctum of the headquarters, ready for the final confrontation. Yeah, yeah boy. All right. God that is damn. a weird ass drawing. <laughs> yeah, we're getting way out of whack on the drawings, but I don't even care. These are still pretty great.
You know? Uh, Fruit says, in this act, the merchandising department gets a hold of the script <laughs> yeah, determined yeah. to sell as many toys For as sure. possible. Those variations on Sockzilla's with the different arms. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You can sell a ton of them, man. This sequence highlights RoboSock's resilience and determination as he faces the harsh battle against the Sockzilla's. Here's the image depicting RoboSock's intense and grueling battle against the five Sockzilla's in the central chamber of Laundry headquarters. The scene is filled with explosions, debris, and dynamic action, highlighting the severity of the battle. Each Sockzilla is uniquely armed, but RoboSock's agility and strength are evident as he takes them down one by one, delivering his signature one-liners. The focus is on RoboSock's heroic and determined figure amidst the chaos of the battle, showcasing his resilience and determination in this harsh confrontation. By yours today. That's right, Duel. <laughs> Rated PG-13. That's right. Coming soon to a theater near you in the city. Being a sock is just not enough. You must also be a cop. A robo sock cop. <laughs> uh. Lintropolis, in the clutches of laundry, must break free with the help of Robo Sock. Threaded what, what game justice. are we listening to? It's a Game Boy RoboCop game, but yeah. for oh, whatever okay. reason, the guy that they gave the job to do the soundtrack went way over the top. He fucking <laughs> jammed it. Like, I, I, the like, story no, 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 I, I heard got this. was that he had just like gotten divorced and <laughs> lost his house and his family and shit. He was in a terrible place, and that created something great. <laughs> and they know? were like, wow. this is just a uh, cheap li uh, license uh, franchise game. Just don't go overboard. And he was like... Gotcha. I got you. <laughs> gotcha. Polyphonic no, sound? How emotional could it possibly be? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for the climax of this motherfucker. Interior of the penthouse office of laundry headquarters. RoboSock bursts into the penthouse office facing Mr. Suds, who stands confidently with a remote control in his hand. Yeah, welcome, RoboSock. Been expecting you. I'm starting to get more Christian Slater with it. I've been expecting you. That's more Jack Nicholson. I've been expecting you. <laughs> we oh, whoops! It, is. We <laughs> <love> it. <laughs> it ends now, suds. But you see. I hold the power here. He presses a button on the remote, activating RoboSock's override system. RoboSock suddenly clutches his head, struggling against his own body. <gasps> RoboSock, controlled by the override system, starts to beat himself up like that part in Fight Club. Oh, shit. Mr. Sud laughs, himself. enjoying the spectacle. <laughs> Look at you, the great RoboSock, reduced to uh, a puppet. Uh, How dare you? Uh, that's a good one. RoboSock grunts in pain, <laughs> his cybernetic parts forcing him to inflict damage upon himself. His eyes flash with memories of his former life, his partner Lou, and the people he swore to protect. With every memory, RoboSock's willpower strengthens. He starts to resist the override system, fighting for control. I am more than a machine. He overpowers the system like a bad motherfucker and regains control. Mr. Suds, eyes widen in shock and fear. No! <laughs> That's impossible! <laughs> I am a robo sock. I protect the innocent. You and Suds are guilty. Nice. With newfound strength, robo sock lunges at Mr. Suds, grabbing him. Robohawk holds Mr. Suds out of the penthouse window like Suge Knight. Mr. Suds pleads for his life, but RoboSock's expression is resolute. This is for the city, for Lou, for justice. He, le he, he lets, lets go. go! And Mr. Suds falls from the window yeah! like Dick Jones, screaming as he plummets to his demise and hit perfect timing on the musical cue. RoboSock turns away from the window, a sense of closure <laughs> in his eyes. He looks out over the city he's sworn to protect. 
Lentropolis is safe once more. Hell yes, yeah! Robo Sock! Ah! Is he, he, he threw him into the building and he fell? I'm not no, sure. No, this is that uh, Fat Boy Slim music video. That's Christopher Walken. <laughs> Walken. I am looking for a man with six fingers on his right hand. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. The climax showcases RoboSock's inner strength and resolve, culminating in the defeat of Mr. Suds and the restoration of peace to Lintropolis. Here's the image depicting the climactic showdown between RoboSock and Mr. Suds in the penthouse office of Laundry Headquarters. The scene captures the moment when RoboSock, having overcome the override system, confronts a shocked and fearful Mr. Suds. The luxurious and modern office setting symbolizes Mr. Suds' power. The focus is on the dramatic and tense moment where Robosock, embodying determination and hustis, holds Mr. Suds out the window, deciding his fate. This image captures the resolution of the climax, marking the triumph of justice over corruption. Yeah! Fucking standing, dude! That's a big climax. My name is Inigo Montoya. But let's be my father. Let's give it an epilogue scene to set us up for the fucking sequel, boys. Woo! Big money. Man, I gotta tell you, that was a monster action flick, dude. Hell yes! I like it. Epilogue. Interior of the Lintropolis Police Department day. Robosock returns to the precinct where the remaining officers are gathered, still reeling from the recent events. They look up as Robosock enters. We've taken a hit, but our duty is not over. Lentropolis still needs us. The officers listen, inspired by his words. We face the worst and come out stronger. It's up to us to keep this city safe to ensure that justice prevails. The officers begin to nod, their morale lifting. Yeah, yeah, Hell yeah. yeah, I like this. So let's get back to work. There's a lot of cleaning up to do. And I'm not just talking about the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, uh, the officers uh, chuckle, oh, rallying Robo around Sock. Robosock. <laughs> After yeah. all, justice never goes out of style. Oh, Hell all yes, right. We got, we got. <laughs> God damn, nailed yeah. it. Yes. Nailed it. Fantastic. Oh my God. RoboSock RDL Justine! Yes, dude. Yes. Holy shit, guys. Thank you so much for being here for another episode of Artificial Dinner Theater. Give it up for Adam and give it up for Sock Cop. My God, yeah. dude. Smokers. Yeah. Smokers for yours. That was so much fun. Killed it. Killed it out there. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to leave us a comment below and let us know what was your favorite part and your least favorite part about today's movie. And make sure to be here every Wednesday for another episode of Artificial Dinner Theater. Yes. Woo! Goddamn!